Hello there ladies and gentlemen of the internet, Crawling UK here with a gameplay video for Starlink Battle for Atlas. Now this video has been a long time in the making, I recorded this back in November of 2018 and it's taken me this long until July 2019 to get it in this state that it's in now. Uh, I've been busy, that's all it is. Uh, we can't always be uploading videos daily but better late than never is the video I hope you like it as always I'm going to take you through the options menus at the beginning also with Battle for Atlas there is the controller attachments the character and the spaceship in this case I was using it on the Nintendo Switch so I had Fox as the character and the star wing as his spaceship so this is the first screen I was presented with the link a pilot as it says there and I have to push in my character which is Fox McCloud all right so here I am I'm just demonstrating I've got Fox McCloud I've got the thingy attached and as soon as I connected it, it loaded. I'm not even sure how it works, because it, it wasn't visible that there was any like connection or any electronics or anything. So I'm, I'm assuming it's electronic, but I, I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I don't care too much. It's uh, a pretty cool feature. So now it was saying, link a ship. Or as I say, a spaceship. Now she's giving me the example there, you get the, for example, star wing, put it on top and clip it down. Fairly straightforward. So here is me showing you. You get the ship and you push it down, not, not the same as the example that I kind of just pushed it with my thumb. It's very easy, it clicks in place, very straightforward. And then I was attaching the, I'm going to call them guns, but they're probably weapons. Uh, so the flamethrower, as you can see, as soon as you push it in, it, it appears on the game. Take it off, it was removed. Uh, the other side was, let me see, uh, frost, frost barrage. Okay. So what I thought I'd try here is also see if I could spin it round and see if it actually spinned around in the game. It didn't show any difference, it just seemed to be recognising that a part was connected. So I don't think it mattered that you kind of botched your build up. It would always have a particular set build in the game. Uh, so as you can see it's pretty much similar to how I've got it set up on top of the uh, Nintendo Switch controller. So here I am in game straight away. Lots of people giving me missions and story. I felt a bit lost at the first but I was just following the tracker, the target on the screen. It said like, it says there 250 or 200. 180 so wherever I was going I was going towards that green target the green yellow it's a yellow target Targets destroyed and then I fired at a rock that did nothing uh, so then there's all these other yellow targets which I decided oh I need to take these out so okay I'll shoot them down the how to explain it but basically with the Fox and Cloud attachment and the Star Wing, it felt like I was playing some sort of Star Wing game, Star Fox game. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you're using this attachment, it doesn't feel like you're playing a brand new game called Star Wing Battle for Atlas. Especially if you've played the previous Star Wing or Star Fox games on the Super Nintendo or other consoles that it came out on. It 
it feels very and looks very similar. A, a modern day version anyway. Target's destroyed. Uh, so I'm running out of things to say here, so I'm just going to let you watch a bit of this gameplay of me aimlessly wandering around. Why am I even wandering around like a, an area? They probably told me, I've, I've forgotten most of the names of things. I don't even know what the Target eliminated. The, uh, game was. don't know what the story was at all. I think even at this point I was a bit like... What is my objective? Destroy the drink. Zero or four. But there's more than four. Is that the real objective? There's like seven targets on the screen. <laughs> so randomly firing. Just to see what happens. But I'll be back shortly let you know about these options that are in the game. So here we have it. This is kind of the pause menu. Uh, I went straight into the gameplay because I wanted to alter the controls. Uh, as you can see there in the middle it says never invert. Well, I don't want it to never be inverted. <laughs> it feels very uncomfortable. So I invert in flight. So when I press down on the stick the nose of the airship, uh, airship? star wing goes upwards. So if I press upwards on the stick the star wing ship nose goes downwards. Destroyed. Target defeated. Okay, so target defeated. Everything's disappeared on the screen. I'm not sure what my objective was. Is um, another down. I guess this was just part of the story, just kind of watch and enjoy. So I can see what I need to do. I'm still destroying these drakes from the Target's destroyed. Yeah. I thought I just killed one, but I'm not sure. So here we go. Let's see what happens when I. The target is no more. I thought I destroyed something, but no. I'm still, still chasing it. Oh wait, what's the one? Charge another down. I think one thing about these games, for me in particular, is not knowing why it's still being kind of disorientated. Uh, it's not that it's a very large area or anything. And technically you could probably travel quite far, but it's trying to keep you in this one area to destroy all these other spaceships. For me, I uh, normally like to be on the ground when I'm playing games, whether it be Mario or Zelda even a Fallout game. So you can uh, skip forward seven and a half minutes now if you want to see me on ground level or on the planet. And we'll get the rest of this over there.
rocket's destroyed. destroyed. Thanks.
almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Breach in reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship! The reactor's been breached! On our way. Just one more left. Saint Grand. What's going on? He's gone! They took St. Grant! What? No! All units, brace yourselves! We're going down! Uh -oh. Getting through all this interference. So here I am on ground level or planet surface. Uh, everyone had crashed as part of the story. If you'd, if you'd uh, that. Flight engines are down. And yes, I'm on reserve power. Gotta find the boys. I had to find a way back to the crew, if you like, the other members. I think I enjoyed this section. Because I don't think I like the like 360 degree freedom you get with being in space. I, I prefer it that you've just got like kind of a linear flat surface to go on. I think you could fly back into space, but because of the damage to the ships, there was no way to go upwards at this point. So it was just kind of navigating the planet's surface. I'm sorry, now I went into the options, I'm not sure why I went here. Yeah, it's like I turned, wanted to put inverted back on, as it turned off. So I was just following the markers, which were, which are the yellow pointers, as you can see there. 5.0 to get to the marker point. Watching this back after nine months or eight months, whenever I recorded this, I'm almost annoyed with myself for not getting on with the game. And I should be just going straight to that marker. I can see it. I'm like almost thinking to myself, "Go to the marker, get there." But I guess this is what I did. I don't have the game anymore. It was actually something I borrowed. I would have enjoyed the game. I think. I don't, I don't like the. I don't know how much of the space sections there is. That's what I'll say first. I don't like the huge space sec sections. They're quite minimal, and the planet sections were quite various. Quite uh, if there was many of them, then I think I'd uh, like to play this game. But it went on sale, I think, and I haven't managed to see one, so I haven't managed to pick it up.
Alright, so here I am, exploring stuff. As you can probably see, and if you are familiar with uh, Lilac Wars, that was the name, wasn't it? That was one of the Star Fox games on the N64. Oh, this you reminds me of Enemy that analysis game. complete. Recommend short range weaponry. The exploring of the planet surfaces. I almost felt like the spaceship could suddenly transform into some kind of tank. That would have been cool. Uh, but still, this is uh, quite a fun section. There was places to explore, things to kill. Trying to do crazy exploring things. Yep, that didn't work. So this is the planet surface exploration part. A way out. Feel free to watch this all the way to the end to get an idea of how the like game that plays out from here. The Equinox. Oh, what now? It's Enemy analysis complete. like today. It's very unique. Recommend elemental it's, combination. It's kind of like the uh, Lila Wars. Many enemies, many places to explore. And we'll make it to the end. I guess I'll say bye. I'll say bye now, just in case. So bye for now. But if you make it to the end, I'll see you there. for it. Ha <laughs> ha! You made it! You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Peppy, everyone okay? Fox, is it? Well, we were ambushed. Whoever attacked us kidnapped our captain during the battle. We appreciate your help, though. Well, they're not gonna get away with that. Come on, let's go get them. We can't. Those freaks who took St. Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Hmm. Gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. I rigged our tech with their ship. Check out your map. There's your ship. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory, for now. Razor. I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. Okay, I'll go see what's up. Be careful. We don't know what's out there. Uh... I'll tell you one thing that's out there. A bunch of killer robots! Yeah, we've only been here a week, but we've taken out a lot of them. There's just no reasoning with those things. Bunch of pests, if you ask me. Yeah, well, bring them on. They make good target practice. So here we are at a part that was a bit more difficult than some of the previous areas I've been to. Um, one of the issues I will admit is I was tired and I was falling asleep so I was playing this. So sometimes 
pretend I was doing really stupid things. I could have, I should have just stayed Not back good. and tried to shoot them all, but I ended up buggering up my spaceship, as you can see. Attach a new ship. I didn't have any new ships. You only get one with a set. And I think that's all the person who lent me had. He, he gave me everything to try it with, and it was just one ship. And I think I tried taking off the one that was on there and just re-putting it back on. Doesn't work. If your ship's down, you've got to go back kind of to the beginning of the... What do you call it? Like quest point, like the where, where the quest starts. Uh, it says there even. Old X to respawn at Equinox. Proximity yeah. alert. Multiple Equinox. hostiles detected. But Looks so yeah, like trouble. It's fairly straightforward. What to do? I was falling asleep, and it makes it look like I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Imps off scan. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, just just go towards the yellow target. Where am I even going? What am I doing? Fox McLeod was drunk. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful to you to give you an idea of how the game works. One thing I didn't try, which I should have, is if you can play the game without connecting spaceships. Uh, I haven't bothered to look this up. Uh, there's probably lots of information out there already regarding this. If you can, then it's probably even worth just getting as the game stand alone. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe, this always helps. And I will be back in the future with more gameplay videos. Bye.